हेलो वेलकम बैक टू दी सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ टॉल स्टॉय फार्म लेट्स हैव ए रेकैप ऑफ व्हाट वी डिस्कस्ड इन दी लास्ट क्लास टॉल स्टॉय फार्म वाज दी फर्स्ट एश्रम इनिशिएटेड एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटेड बाय मोहनदास गांधी ज्यूरिंग हिज साउथ अफ्रीकन लाइफ इन 1910 टॉल स्टॉय फार्म हैड मेनी इनमेट्स इन इट हिंदूस मुस्लिम्स Christians Parsis and the people from different nationalities lived in Tolstoy farm Gandhi ji made provisions to introduce education to all the children in the farm Gandhi ji lack of faith in formal education and availability of teachers lack of funds and his deep desire to implement his educational methods paved the way for the introduction of new educational principles in the tolstoy farm gandhi ji regarded character building as the proper foundation for the education of the children and if the foundation was firmly laid the children could learn all the other things themselves or with the assistance of friends gandhi ji regarded the farm as a family Gandhi ji intimately involved with them as a father figure these were the things that we discussed in the last class and i hope all of you have got a clear idea about the part that we completed in the last class and let's learn more about tolstoy farm and before that i would like to remind you some you have to keep a pencil with you to underline the unfamiliar words okay are you ready to listen the rest part of the autobiography the extract of the autobiography tolstoy farm okay let's start but as i fully appreciated the necessity of a literary training in addition I started some classes with the help of Mr Kalenberg and Siu Pragji Desa nor did I underrate the building up of the body this they got in the course of their daily routine for there were no servants on the farm and all the work from cooking down to scavenging was done by the inmates there were many fruit trees to be looked after and enough gardening to be done as well Mr Kalenberg was fond of gardening and had gained some experience of this work in one of the governmental model gardens it was obligatory on all young and old who were not engaged in the kitchen to give some time to the gardening the children had lion's share of this work which included digging pits felling timber and lifting loads this gave them ample exercise they took delight in the work and so they did not generally need any other exercise or games of course some of them and sometimes all them malingered and shirked sometimes i connived at their pranks but often i was strict with them i dare say they did not like this strictness but i do not recollect their having resisted it whenever i was strict i would by argument convince them that it was not right to play with a one's work the conviction would however be short lived the next moment they would again leave their work and go to play all the same we got along and at any rate they built up fine physics there was scarcely any illness on the farm though it must be said that good air and water and regular hours of food were not a little responsible for this a word about vocational training it was my intention to teach every one of the youngsters some useful manual vocation for this purpose mr kalenberg went to a trappist monastery and returned having learned shoe making i learned it from him and taught the art to such as were ready to take it up Mr Kalenberg had some experience of carpentry and there was another inmate who knew it so we had a small class in carpentry cooking almost all the youngsters knew 
all this was new to them. They had never even dreamed that they would have to learn these things some day. For generally, the only training that Indian children received in South Africa was in the three arts. On Tolstoy farm, we made it a rule that the youngsters should not be asked to do what the teachers did not do. And therefore, when they were asked to do any work, there was always a teacher cooperating and actually working with them. Hence, whatever the youngsters learn, they learn cheerfully. I hope all of you have understood the various aspects that followed in Tolstoy farm. Anyway, let's comprehend the paragraphs a little bit more. And Gandhiji realized the, the importance of literary training. And my first question. Who assisted Gandhiji in literary training? Who assisted Gandhiji in literary training? Yes. Mr. Kalanbag and Sud Praji Deshai assisted Gandhiji in conducting literary training in Tolstoy Farm. Mr. Kalanbag and the Sri Praji Deshai. Praji Deshai and uh, Herman Kallenbach assisted Gandhiji to teach reading, writing and arithmetic. That means literary training. There were different types of works in the Tolstoy farm. And the children were given various training. And my question, what training was given to children of all ages in the farm? Try to answer. Yes. Children of all ages were given training in gardening, cooking and looking after the fruit tree, etc. These were the works that were uh, given to the inmates of the Tolstoy farm. There were no servants on the farm and all the work was done by the inmates. And Gandhiji wanted all young and old to engage in manual works. In manual works. And those who were not engaged in the kitchen had to give some time to gardening. That's how Gandhiji managed the Tolstoy farm. And these were the routine in the in the Tolstoy farm. Gandhiji didn't underreach the building up of the board and that the inmates got in the course of their daily routine. The children had the lion's share of all the works at a Tolstoy farm. The works included digging pits, felling timber and lifting loads. This gave them ample that means more than enough exercise so the children did not need any other exercises or games but some students malinquered that means pretended to be ill and shirked their duties here is a question for you how did Gandhiji reacted to this misbehavior of students. How did Gandhiji react to such students, the, those who malinquered and shirked their duties? Yes. Sometimes he connived at their pranks, but often he was strict with them and he would convince them that it was not right to play with the one's work. It was not right to play with the one's work. Gandhiji convinced them. And the comedy is that after Gandhiji convinced the, the such students, they would again leave their work and go to play. That means the conviction be short-lived. Anyway, they enjoyed working in the garden and that helped them to build up a strong physique. Gandhiji said that 
they had been scarcely any illness on the farm and the question why was illness scarce on the farm why was illness scarce on the farm yes the inmates had got ample physical exercise and they built up fine physics so illness was scarce on the farm and gandhi ji wanted to promote craft centered and vocationalized education he wanted to promote the craft centered and vocationalized education in his tolstoy farm how did gandhi ji introduce vocational training in tolstoy farm how did gandhi ji introduce the vocationalized or craft centered education in his farm yes Gandhi ji learned shoe making from Mr Kalanback and taught it to the interested children Mr Kalanback and another inmate who knew carpentry gave training in carpentry children of all ages were given training in gardening with the help of Mr Kalanback almost all youngsters knew cooking and this is how gandhi ji introduced vocational training in tolstoy farm so gandhi ji wanted vocationalization in tolstoy farm so gandhi ji wanted vocationalization in tolstoy farm all this was new to the students and generally the only training that indian children received in south africa was in the 3 hours read write and the magic there is an another question for you what makes learning a cheerful experience for children in the farm what makes learning a cheerful experience for children in the farm yes in the farm the children would not be asked to do what the teachers did not do when the children were doing any work there was always a teacher cooperating and working with them and the learning became a cheerful one in the tolstoy farm children Do you like Gandhi ji's Tolstoy farm and the methods that he implemented in that farm? Write a paragraph and send it to me. So, this is all about Tolstoy farm and let's read the paragraphs that we discussed today once again. but as i fully appreciated the necessity of a literary training in addition i started some classes with the help of mr kalanback and siu pragji desha nor did i underrate the building up of the body this they got in the course of their daily routine for there were no servants on the farm and all the work from cooking down to scavenging was done by the inmates There were many fruit trees to be looked after and enough gardening to be done as well. Mr. Kalanback was fond of gardening and had gained some experience of this work in one of the governmental model gardens. It was obligatory on all young and old who were not engaged in the kitchen to give some time to garden. The children had the lion's share of this work. which included digging pits felling timber and lifting loads this gave them ample exercise they took delight in the work and so they did not generally need any other exercise or games of course some of them and sometimes all them malinked and shirt sometimes i connived at their pranks but often i was strict with them I dare say that 
they did not like the strictness but i do not recollect their having resisted it whenever i was strict i would by argument convince them that it was not right to play with the one's work the conviction would however be short lived the next moment they would again leave their work and go to play all the same we got along and at any rate they built up fine physics there was scarcely any illness on the farm though it must be said that good air and water and regular hours of food were not a little responsible for this a word about vocational training it was my intention to teach every one of the youngsters some useful manual vocation for this purpose mr kalanbag went to a trappist monastery and returned having learned shoe making i learned it from him and taught the art to such as were ready to take it up mr kalanbag had some experience of carpentry and there was another inmate who knew it so we had a small class in carpentry cooking almost all the youngsters knew all this was new to them they had never even dreamed that they would have to learn these things some day for generally the only training that indian children received in south africa was in the three arts on tolstoy farm we made it a rule that the youngsters should not be asked to do what the teachers did not do and therefore when they were asked to do any work there was always a teacher cooperating and actually working with them hence whatever the youngsters learned they learned cheerfully so the extract tolstoy form from gandhiji's autobiography have been completed hope all of you have enjoyed the class and let's meet again in the next class until then bye dears